YouTube, what's up today? We making my favorite like game day or Taco Tuesday uh, nacho, and we gonna start with just using uh, ground beef. You can use whatever, pulled pork, ground turkey, chicken, steak, whatever you like, and then just brown the meat, like start browning the meat. And I got some 80-20 uh, ground beef in here, and it's about like a half a pound. Depending on how many people you got, you kind of do it accordingly. But yeah, I know it's like that. You know, playoffs in the football and like basketballs, you know, started. So you got some friends, family, whatever. This will be a good meal to feed everybody. got the meat all brown this is my favorite seasoning uh, Taco Bell is the only way to go no McCormick no whatever else I don't know just Taco Bell and then I put about a half a cup of water in here so it doesn't stick but yeah, let's get that in here. mix that up Lightly mix. Come in with the second pack. And again, depending on how much meat you're using, whatever, if it's already seasoned, you do you. And then, And then if you need a little bit more water because it's too dry, just come in and just give it a little bit of water. Just a splash. Put it back on the heat. Look, I'm spilling everywhere. Now that we got the meat going, everything's good with the meat. You just set it off on the side, put the top on, and then we're gonna set the set the table. I'm being lazy. I'm not making my own cheese sauce, but this is the next best thing other than making your own the tostitos. But yeah, get your cheese. You can do it in the microwave if you want to. But I'm just doing it in the pot. And then just add in. Some cheese. I got the heat on like medium. And it don't take long. So if you got a non-stick pot, just do that. And then just mix it. We got the meat done, we got the cheese done. Now we just set the nachos. We're setting the plate. So I got Doritos. I love Doritos. Not everybody loves Doritos. Okay. So everybody don't love Doritos. We got the tortilla chips. All right. Do half and half. Oh, shit. All right. We got that. So now, coming back with the meat. Don't be stingy with the meat either. You made a lot, you made enough. Put the meat on there. Cheese. 
And then we got the lettuce, baby. Not too much. A little bit. We want a little bit of lettuce, not a salad, you know what I'm saying? A little bit. Me personally, I'm gonna go with cheese next. A little bit of cheese. And then just let it pour all over it. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. All right, we got two more things, two more things. Got some salsa. And again, we're being lazy. It's game day. We want to watch. We don't got time to be making everything from scratch. So I'm using that passe. Might not be saying it right, but that's what I'm going to say. Come in with that salsa. Mm -hmm. That sound is gross, by the way. But, yeah. And lastly, I'm going to squirt the first bit of it out because it's kind of watery. But, uh... And then just come up top and finish with the sour cream. I'm doing a horrible job of presentation for this. Kind of like a football, right? All right, so now this is our game day nacho, you two. But obviously, after all this, we got to try two. I'm gonna try one tortilla chip. Let me see. Okay. It's all right. Let me try a Dorito chip. I love Dorito. Well, hold on, let's get in there. That's the best one. Mm. Dorito, you gotta have Dorito. 100% over tortilla. But definitely do this. Fun game day treat for the family and friends, so.